What's up, everybody? I'm Griffin. I'm Shane. This is That's the Scoop. International edition. Yeah. So, in case you're following us on Instagram, which you should be, um, we were at the World Market in Canton, Ohio, picked up a bunch of international foods, candies. This is part one. There will be a part two coming later. So, for now, we're just going to get into this, try some things, and uh, see how this goes. Yeah. A lot of the food we did end up getting was Japanese, but that's because Japan kind of has a really big culture of food. Okay, what do you want to dig in first? I don't know. Let's just get in here and try. Oh, we got this little drink thing here, too. Yeah, and that's with the gummies. Yeah, which so. Oh, no. Let's see that. Yeah, I don't know. Let's try the chips. And, whoa, that's a stop. What is that? Oh, these are cola coated popcorn from Great Britain, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, it says British candy, so. Oh, right. Yeah. You open that, and I'm going to open these Italian looking uh, cookies that are probably not very good. How's that smell? Smells like kettle corn. Oh, it actually does. Oh, let me get it. It's literally kettle corn, but it had their like. It is coated with. Candy? Yeah. So it's candy coated dreams, huh? I'm not sure how I feel about <laughs> That didn't work. Oh. Well, you're making a mess. Oh, weird. It's like stale popcorn. I don't like popcorn, so what? Did you get a taste of that? No, you gotta get a one with the it, pink stuff on it. It's just got a little bit of a candy taste to it. Try one with the pink stuff on it. It's like Pepto Bismol. Slightly tastes like it. That's not the worst thing I've ever had. No. I mean, cola cubes are apparently a candy over there. Other flavors include rhubarb and custard. Lemon lime sherbet, strawberries and cream, cherry pips, sweet and shake, and simply salt it. So regular rhubarb and custard. Okay, here in America we like salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar popcorn. Oh, now you're getting it, aren't you? It has almost a soapy taste, though, somewhat. To be continued. Not bad, though. No, not my nose. Ooh. Tesoro chocolate. Oh, that's that, that was that was more Japanese than it was Italian. <laughs> yeah. It's cream filled puff pastry is all it says it is. It's really light. Lightly. Mm. No, oh, that's pretty good. I can eat all the thing one. Just kind of falls apart in your mouth. That's when you know they made it right. These are good. I was wrong. You find these? Go get them. Yeah. Oh, we have to rate this stuff. Are we going to rate this stuff? Yeah, pass or fail. I mean, I think both these so far are pass. Yeah, these are pretty good so far. So far, the... Wait, no, is Italy in Europe? Yes, it is. It's not Asia. Europe's passing so far. I corrected myself. We're all good. Palette cleanser. Well. Sea, Atlantic sea salt and balsamic vinegar. Hand cooked on our family farm in Ireland. I was, I was going to do an accent, but that's not going to go over very well. <laughs> I can't do accents very well, so. Right, mine would come out more of a Scottish sailor. Gluten-free, lactose-free, GMO-free, MSG-free, flavor-free. <laughs> I don't know. Made from potatoes in Ireland, which is what Ireland's known for, so why not make chips out of them? Quit making up stuff. But do you not know about the grape potato famine? Well, I don't want to hear about grape potatoes. Oh, those are like kettle cut. It does say crinkle cut. Well, yeah, but kettle cut. Oh. They're a thick cut. Good though. 
You got salt and you got vinegar in there. Nice. Makes it pretty good. Almost tastes like... It's a really light salt and vinegar on a thick chip, though. Mm-hmm. It almost tastes like the Lay's Cattle Cook Salt and Vinegar Chips. They're not over-blasted with the salt and vinegar. It all depends on what you're tasting. Which I prefer. I like them loaded. I want to bite into a salt and vinegar chip and go, ooh! Larger one. Ooh. It's like chewing a whole potato. <laughs> almost. Not bad. I'll pass that. Next. Grab something. So pickles. Which are American, I believe. Oh, no. Toronto, Canada. Canada, eh? Yeah, we're going to stick with no accents. Come on, you hoser. What? What? Bitter patter. They're sweet pickle spears. There's no lit. Oh, yeah, there is. What in the world? <laughs> it's so tiny. I mean, it did have to fit in the bag. I mean, for a snack on the go, which is what I'll assume. It's not as good as your normal sweet pickle would be. But again, for a little snack pack. It's not bad. It seems like something you'd find in a vending machine in Canada. I just want to know what person needs a pack of pickles for on the go. I mean, if you're in love with pickles that much. I know some people that probably would. All right, Cheyenne, if you're looking for pickles on the go, here you are. Hmm. Oh, anything chocolate? We had one thing chocolate. I um, really want to try the honeycomb. Go for it's it. It's a honeycomb chocolate made in Scotland. And I thought it was Britain, but then it says straight on in Scotland, so. Easy open and re resealable. Hmm. If you can't finish a chocolate bar, you shouldn't be eating it. How are you supposed to... Why do, you, why do you make a chocolate bar resealable anyway? Like, chocolate doesn't go bad, though. Oh, I just broke it. On this episode, we watched Griffin open a package. Doesn't even look like... Oh, it is resealable. It's sticking to itself. Ooh. So this is milk chocolate with honeycomb pieces. You can see the... Mackies of Scotland. Scotland. Good milk chocolate. Excuse me, good milk chocolate though. It's actually a really good milk chocolate. It's melting. It's not really taste much of the honeycomb. I think it just adds a little bit of sweetness to it. I'm not gonna complain though. It's chocolate. I like it. Hmm? Huh? Yeah. I know it's really interesting, but I mean it's I really don't know what to expect going into these. Yeah. Jones, carbonated candy. From Canada. Okay. Made in Canada. Fair enough. So, oh, okay, this isn't going to go over very well. Welcome back to episode two of Griffin Helping Things. I don't want to use my teeth. Why don't they... You know what? Huh? What year is this? 2017. No, it's past 20. Well, I'm back in time. <laughs> okay. Marty! Marty! Don't, don't eat. It's very lemonade flavor. How are you supposed to open it from here? Now you figure that out. Figure it out. Ow. Oh. oh, there's a lip. Oh, they look like... Never play leapfrog with unicorns. It's... <laughs> Thanks for our wisdom of the day, Canada. Do you have Amanda, a problem with unicorns? Amanda from Jaffray. I don't know, it says it right on the inside of here. They kind of look like Altoids. Oh, they have a jam on them. Altoids? Altoids, Altoids. I mean, it's very blue smelling. 
Jones carbonated can carbonated candy. You turn it. Made in Canada and Ontario. I don't get where it's supposed to be carbonated. It tastes like a Pez. Kinda of does. Yeah, it does. Definitely got a berry flavor to it. It's got a good flavor. I guess it does have a slight, I guess, burn, I guess. Just like, kind of like, like if you drank too much Dr. Pepper. I don't get the carbonated part, but as far as a berry lemonade candy, it's not Worth. bad. I'll pass that one. Thanks, Canada. Ooh. Okay. Sour and spicy gummies. Mango. Chamoy. Are these American? Mango away. What are they? What are they? Do we have any clue? Made in the USA. Fair enough. Hot and crabby, it says. Ne neither one of us likes spicy food. I think he can handle a little more than I can. Do you want a blue or, or a blue? An orange or a red? Mm. They look like crabs. Should have figured they look like crabs. Oh. They smell like mango for sure, though. You're taking orange, I'll do red. Even though my favorite color is orange. Get they got a sugar coating on them. That's all I want. Almost like a, that's probably the sour aspect of it. So we're checking. I was looking to see if it was sour. I have no sourness to it. Not really. I have a gummy though, so I'm a poorly made gummy. Mmm. Get a little tingle on my tongue though. I just swallowed. Yeah, it's got some spice to it. Oh. Oh. That sneaks up on you a little bit. And it does say right here hot. Yeah. Man. Oh. Water ain't gonna help. It's not bad though. If you like spicy things, I'd go for it. It's not super spicy, but it's no. enough it makes your tongue tingle. There's mango and there's tamarind. 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 I don't even know what that is. It looks like... I don't, I don't either. looks like... Bacon? A monkey pooed out chocolate. <laughs> that's what it looks like. I, I don't think that's actually what it is. All right, I mean, well, I'm assuming it's something up plate. They have a good flavor. They're decent. Um, a little spice to them. Oh no, I want to try this. Whoa, there's a little. This is the they're Ferro Duplo. It's made in another thing made in Italy. Gauze Nuss. Gans Nun. Nuss. I don't know what that means. It's probably hazelnut because it looks like there's hazelnut on it. It's a little, uh. I've never needed instructions to open a drink before. What? Wait, what's the thing? Uh, yeah, these are. I knew, I knew these drinks. Okay. So you remove the seal, detach the plunger from the center, place it on top of the bottle, and it says press down firmly with the base of your palm to release the marble. The base of my palm? Give it the right way. I don't know. I, I, just poke it, I guess. Hold on. Oh, yeah, there's some force behind that. Yeah, there's a lot of force. How are you supposed to press down? Man, what in the world? Under pressure, open carefully. Please, jam plunger through. I see the marble right there. Throw away the seal, cap, and plunger. Man. Have fun drinking. Have fun getting it open. Holy cow. What? I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> this is going to go all kinds of bad. You're shaking. I'm trying to get it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What's this tap? I mean, I, I got it pressed down a little bit. Hold on, I'm going to try this real quick. It's a little, this is a little destroyed here. Mm. There's a hazelnut in them. 
That's really good, actually. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. Let me see the marble in there. Oh, that's real quick. I don't know who designed this drink. Japan. I see them all over Japan, apparently. Now try this real quick before we try that. Oh, I will. I was just opening it. Same that's, time. that's really good, though. This is best. I've never seen such a complicated opening system. I mean, some cans aren't open, but... Whoa, this is flaky. Has a hazelnut in it. It's really good. Almost tastes like the same stuff that Kinder Eggs are made out of. Or a Rocher, almost. I mean, I wonder if Faro means hazelnut or whatever or something like that in Italian. So far, we're just eating good foods. It smells like soap. Smell it. It smells like soap. I spoke too soon. It has a soapy smell to it. Okay, so evidently, these are supposed to taste the same. Yeah, they're the same flavor, I guess. Ramoon? Now, I'm gonna open these and see if they smell the same. Well, yeah, that's what I was wondering. Oh, they're individually packaged. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's got Oh, the, uh, weird. Oh, I don't like that smell. Hey. <laughs> the way it's tapered here, it catches that little ball that was sealing it shut. I don't know if you can if you can hear that. Oh. It's, I don't like that. Oh, that's got a weird smell to it. I don't like that smell. I'm gonna try the gummies first. Oh, it is a gummy. Oh, it's whoa. That's a nice color though. I don't like that. Oh, it's minty. There's no ginger in this. It smells like a a cleaner. That's a no-go for me. Yeah, no. Drink tastes the same? Whoa, it's weird. Kind of like, does it taste the same? It just tastes like carbonated water. Like, not really any flavor to it. Either it tastes so close to that that we can't tell the difference. That's not bad. Mm -mm. Way better than the candy. I mean, it's only 17 carbs for that whole bottle, which isn't, it was just weird for soda. There's literally a glass marble in a glass jar, or glass bottle. Okay, that works. <sighs> Two more things. All right, so up next, that okay. stuff's not bad. This stuff. Don't. No. It. That, I've, I've smelled something similar to that, but there's one left in there. We don't have much left here. Every burger? Oh, these are both chocolate, I think. Yeah. Burger shaped bur chocolate cookies. Oh, these were all, yeah, again, those are Japan. Both. Yeah, from Japan also. Is open that, that all open this, yep. What's this one? Uh, Cadbury. England, I'm guessing. Cadbury's American, isn't it? Yeah, but there's also an international one. Cadbury does a lot, of, a lot of stuff in the UK that we don't get here. Well, there's, there's, it says Ireland, and then it also says UK. So somewhere over there. Ha! <laughs> oh, they do look like little burgers. <laughs> That's awesome! Whoa! It's a, uh, a little burger. And it has sesame seeds on it too. Well, not probably actual, but. I swear for a second my mind thought it was an actual burger and I got a taste of burger, but... Eh. Take him or leave him. Not the best. No. I'm gonna these. It's edible. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know how I feel about this little ball telling me that I can't drink anymore. <laughs> He's come splash me. There's got to be a secret to that thing. I mean, the splash then? I'll make it so you can't chug it. So a choking hazard. Mm -hmm. It does say to open it for little kids so they don't hurt themselves. I guess it's supposed to hold there when you drink. Oh, maybe. Until you put it up there too high. That looks like a little face. I'm gonna take a bite of these. This might be good. It's impossible to drink though. It's a milk chocolate covered biscuit. Chocolate covered, ch covered chocolate biscuit. Not bad. Eh. Well, that's International Food and Candy Volume 1. Wait, do you have a favorite food from all this? I like these little things. Those are good too. Eh. There you go. So, what's Volume 1? Volume 1. Call it Volume 1. Alright, okay. like, comment, subscribe, let us know how we're doing, give us some ideas for episodes. Um, follow us on Instagram, follow the Facebook page. And uh, that's the scoop. scoop. Thank you. Yep. Alright, what's up everybody? I'm Zayfaw Beaver Brox. This is my co-host.